Hello, Umut here. Welcome to another video. Today I'm going to create this beautiful butterfly journal. Uh, I am very keen on journals uh, these days, you know it, and uh, you seem to enjoy them a lot. So uh, I'm going to use this uh, Just Lou uh, butterfly uh, dies uh, to create a mini journal from these. Uh, I love these. Uh, they were kindly sent to me by Studio Light. Uh, and I'm going to give you links down below to buy as well. I recently made a whole video where I showed all these uh, new products by Studio Light. So check it out if you want to see and uh, miss it. I'm going to put the link down below at the description area for that as well. Uh, and uh, the die is really simple. It has three uh, different sizes of butterfly wings and you just cut it. Uh, one of them has these holes uh, and the others don't because you can stick them on top. But I'm going to do something uh, different and turn it into a little journal. Uh, so let's see how it happens. Uh, I'm using my uh, sprays that I neglect neglected for a very long time. Uh, my distress... Uh, stains or uh, dilutions or uh, Lindy's uh, gang sprays or other brands let's say I'm just giving some love to them uh, and I am showing you the uh, colors uh, uh, on the screen while I'm using them so you can pause and check out the exact color if you want to uh, but some of these are really old sprays uh, so I'm using uh, tones of browns, black, uh, some uh, really light yellow, uh, coffee color, uh, that kind of um, a little bit dark red, that kind of uh, color scheme. Um, I'm just spraying my uh, pages with water a little bit so that my colors blend uh, easier. I used the mixed media paper uh, to cut out my uh, wings. They might curl up when I first spray uh, water and uh, sprays, uh, but they will dry out uh, flat in the end. Some of the sprays are not working, uh, clogged, so I'm not going to throw them of course. I'm using my brush simply to take out the color and uh, use it uh, on my project. Uh, this is okay as well, as you see it creates a nice effect, uh, just random coloring. Sprays are really easy with these uh, projects where you mass produce many pages. Uh, so it makes my job really uh, easier uh, and uh, this process takes shorter time than giving color with other mediums. That's why I lean towards uh, uh, sprays when I do the uh, mini journals. Uh, and now I'm going to do the backs, the fronts uh, dried. Uh, and again, I'm using the same uh, color scheme, some blacks, yellows, uh, browns, uh, oranges and reds. I'm actually going with the color scheme that uh, they used on the uh, project, Just Lou Designs, um, so that uh, I can use the word uh, chipboards uh, easily, uh, going with the same color scheme. And also I really like it. I was uh, quite inspired by it. This is a mini a spray that I made ages ago. I don't even remember. I made some gold uh, spray but I really don't remember how I made it. Uh, which product I use. Is it a powder or not? No idea. And the spray is uh, a little bit uh, clogged so it sprays uh, quite densely. But yeah, uh, I just can't remember uh, how what that spray is and how I made it. Uh, and I keep uh, working on the back, uh, giving some color. Uh, I included uh, gold as well uh, in some of them, as you see. It really makes a nice effect with this spray cloaked. <laughs> Sometimes happy accidents. So my wings are ready now. And I, I'll show you what I used again. Three different sizes of wings. Uh, and if you uh, cut twice, you get the wing uh, on both sides. So I'm going to create uh, to, uh, to make these wings uh, butterflies complementing each other. Uh, and I show you quickly the background colors. Uh, what I will do now is to go over the edges with my archival ink, black uh, one. 
Uh, I will do this with all of the wings. Uh, I'm not going to show you all because this will be boring. But uh, I'll show you one. Uh, all I do is go around the edges, uh, front and back, uh, so that the, it's uh, bordered nicely. And I don't have these uh, white uh, edges. Now it's time for uh, uh, working on the uh, stamping uh, all these uh, butterfly wings. Uh, again, I will do mass production, so I will use some background stamps. Uh, on these, uh, stamping it with my black ink again. This is a script stamp from Penny Black. Uh, I really love it. Um, but you you use it just what you have. Uh, it's, it really is not important. Uh, I'm just giving it a little bit texture and interest at the back. And uh, I'm going to use I'm going to use another one. This is a crackle stamp from Stamperia. Uh, and I'm just uh, using it for the back of the same wings. I think having a few background stamps is uh, nice because it, they are so versatile. You can use it again and again and again. It's not like some specific stamps uh, that you have uh, defined images. Um, this is a really cheap text stamp that I have at home. Uh, so I'm using it on this one and um, these, pa these pages are uh, black and gold. I really love them. And uh, on this one I'm going to use actually one of Marlene's uh, stamps. Uh, this is a mermaid stamp but uh, th this is splashes I guess. But uh, I think it looks uh, super nice this stamp. So I'm going to use it on these wings uh, and I really love how it looks. Uh, on the other one, I'm going to use uh, another of her uh, stamps the, from the same stamp set. And it's a leaf uh, for underwater, uh, underwater plant. But who knows it? Uh, no one. So it will become uh, nice leaves on my butterfly uh, for decoration. I'm just turning it around to have uh, different impressions of the same stamp. So it looks nicely decorated. And uh, uh, for the for this one, I took another stamp again from Marlene's uh, collections, new stamps, Marlene World, a feather one. Uh, so I'm just again uh, turning it all around and stamping uh, these two wings. Now it's time to prepare a couple more uh, interesting things for my journal. Uh, I have these two stamps again from Just Lou uh, collection. I love them. They are big and uh, nicely designed. So I'm using my Mitzi tool uh, to just uh, stamp it because I'm, I'm going to emboss them. Uh, so I want to stamp it uh, two, three times to make sure I have the uh, impression. I'm using my Versamark generously uh, uh, loading up my stamp and then uh, I'm stamping over my uh, cardstock. Uh, I will do it again and again just to make sure uh, I have the impression so that I can uh, emboss it once and uh, be done with it. I used my uh, gold uh, embossing powder from Ranger. Uh, it's a little bit uh, uh, matte gold uh, which I quite like. Uh, and uh, this is the other, uh, I think this is a moth, isn't it? <laughs> I'm not so sure. But um, it's definitely beautiful. So I did the same process. Uh, some edges still didn't get, uh, uh, didn't get stamped uh, properly. But I'm going to find a solution for that easily. I'm just going to fussy cut this. And on the edges, I'm using my Versamark pen. This is a very useful tool. I would definitely recommend to get it. I use it a lot. Uh, and uh, I'm just going over the edges and uh, will do the gold embossing again. So that I have the impression there too. After this, I'm going to go uh, and uh, color my uh, butterflies. Uh, I will first start with this Distress Oxide uh, ink. Uh, I thought it would be a, a nice contrast to make it black so the gold uh, stands out. But um, this doesn't come as, as strong as I want. So you will see that I'm going to switch to my uh, sprays again. Uh, and uh, I'm going to use this uh, brown one uh, from Lindy's. 
uh, and uh, another color as well uh, which is black uh, so again I went for dark colors so that I can get that beautiful contrast uh, of gold and uh, browns and blacks uh, and I'm going to color the back of the butterfly too not to have white edges showing up uh, from anywhere because I'm not going to stick it flat I'll give some dimension and for the other one the moth I'm going to uh, just color it uh, with a little bit yellow and brown uh, so that they are different and I'm doing it uh, doing the same at the back as well this was really satisfactory for me to use the sprays that I haven't used for ages it just makes me happy to uh, give use to the uh, stash that I have at home I don't know if it's uh, the same for you um, I just uh, went around the edges with black marker too to uh, make sure that I don't have the white edges and uh, now that uh, it's ready uh, I'm just going to cut it in half and stick it uh, on each side of my butterfly journal I'm using my Nouveau glue you can use uh, any glue you want just uh, make sure that you're using something that, that dries clear so that you don't have the white glue uh, showing up this way uh, I have uh, my uh, butterflies nicely uh, complementing each other. Uh, to raise the wings I'm using 3D uh, foam tape uh, so that uh, my butterfly is just uh, uh, a little bit dimensional which will add a nice interest to my project. I'll also make sure the, uh, the wings are curled up uh, just uh, playing with them a little bit more and uh, coming to the sentiment I'm choosing uh, one of these uh, beautiful uh, chipboard sentiments that comes with the Just Lou uh, pack this uh, butterfly um, it's a butterfly concept so everything that comes uh, under this Just Lou butterfly uh, concept uh, it, it's a, all the colors are matching the sentiments are matching so I really like it again I'm going to uh, have uh, uh, the sentiment cut in half and uh, glue it at uh, each side of the butterfly I'm going to go around the edges with black marker and use my glue to stick it uh, simply uh, as a continuation from one wing to the other now uh, the exciting part uh, I'm bringing in my uh, holographic rhinestones these are art by, uh, by Art by Marlene mm, uh, again by Studio Light but it's from the uh, Marlene's World collection uh, and uh, I'm completely addicted to them at the moment because they have this holographic shine to them um, that when you move it really shines a lot uh, so I love them and I uh, I use them in all the projects at the moment. I just put some glue on the uh, on the wing, um, and uh, because the glue is going to dry clear, I don't mind. I just spread it with my hand a little bit, and I'm using uh, the colors that goes with this project, which are uh, some yellows, dark yellows, and uh, clear ones. Uh, and I'm using this tool to uh, stick the little ones it's a pick me up uh, tool and it's very really useful uh, if you don't have this I think you might go crazy uh, I, I'm really glad I had it at home and I haven't used it for ages but there's a time for everything I guess so it's time to use it I did it for all four corners uh, not to make it boring I didn't show you I just uh, had one uh, one corner shown uh, but I basically glued them all down and I'm making some uh, gold splashes with my gold uh, acrylic paint uh, watering it down uh, to complete these two wings which will be the front and back covers I love it by the way you can all only have that and just hang it somewhere in your house or gift it it all depends on you uh, what I love about these things is you make it your own and you can design it in many many different ways that's why I find them really useful versatile I love the mini journal dies because I can cut them and uh, have many concepts uh, and make use of them uh, a lot um, so I, I find it uh, actually cost-effective in a way uh, if, I, if you buy a 
notebook you use it and uh, it it's gone and you buy it again but if you have the dies you can always cut from the papers that you have and uh, it's yours forever so that's why I love them and I keep collecting them um, in the meantime I just cut my moth in, in half I hope this is a moth but uh, if it's not butterfly um, and I'm using my uh, glue to uh, to just uh, glue it uh, on the uh, on the other wings and this time I'm not uh, giving a dimension I want it flat uh, and uh, I'm going to do some more embossing on the uh, red wings I'm using this uh, anti-static pouch you can find it on Amazon if you write anti-static uh, embossing pouch um, and it's quite cheap I'm using my Versamark pen uh, to just uh, draw some uh, shapes on my uh, on my wings you will see how it comes out i think it's uh, really really nice um, and it, it matches the gold of the moth that is on the uh, wings uh, and i love it it looks uh, so beautiful um, this is i think called princess gold uh, the embossing powder i'm using is from ranger uh, I, you can find it easily uh, if you write it uh, in the search uh, place of the shops and uh, look how beautiful it looks with a simple thing you don't even need uh, stamps you can draw it yourself um, and uh, again I'm going to choose from the sentiments that I have here uh, there is this one that says create I'm going to go around the edges again with black and I will also ink it up a little bit with my black uh, sponge with the archival ink uh, because all the rest is uh, inked up on the edges the moth the butterfly so they all go together with the same look and feel and i chose this uh, other sentiment as well with the same size uh, and i'm going to glue it on the other side of course uh, I'm not gonna let go these uh, butterflies without putting some uh, rhinestones I chose the square uh, ones uh, with a clear color and I'm going to just uh, glue it down on the path the embossing that I did uh, and it looks fantastic I think I really love it uh, look how shiny and beautiful it is uh, let's move on to the other wings uh, I have uh, now this die again from the same collection just look collection and it actually cuts a frame and inside it depends how you want to use them and I thought for a moment shall I use the uh, frames only but uh, no I decided to use the uh, insides um, and uh, I'm going to color them with uh, a little bit of gold I think this little spray is now uh, finishing so it looks like splatters which is fine for me uh, I'm just going to uh, spray it a little bit on all four of them and afterwards I'm taking another color which is a uh, goldish yellow it's a mica uh, spray and the uh, uh, nozzle isn't working where I'm not surprised now with these uh, sprays and uh, I'm just going to take my brush and uh, just put the color on the wings myself. It's a beautiful light uh, goldish color, uh, not very heavy, uh, so it's like yellowish gold. Uh, and I love how it looks with the more intense gold uh, that I sprayed before. I'm going to dry it, do the same at the back so that uh, I don't have white edges again. And I'm going to ink up the edges with black as well uh, so that everything is uh, looking nice and neat. And to make this uh, design a little bit more interesting I'm just going to do some black dots on the butterflies. I'm using my Posca pen which is an acrylic marker but you can use pretty much anything for that. Uh, now it's time to uh, glue down my butterflies. I'm only go uh, going to glue them down uh, from the middle. Uh, so that the wings are still uh, up in the air uh, to make uh, things uh, more interesting again um, this little dimension looks uh, always uh, better than uh, having everything flat I'm going to choose a sentiment like I did for the others uh, I'll just cut this uh, in half uh, 
and uh, do the same like the others I'm going to go around the edges with uh, my black marker and uh, uh, ink the edges up as well uh, and stick it down uh, one side uh, one each side imagination will take uh, you everywhere everywhere uh, that's what it says uh, and uh, I'm again uh, can't stay away from the rhinestones uh, and uh, I will just glue down a few uh, yellow ones uh, light yellow ones uh, here and there uh, just to have a few not a lot now uh, I need to bring this uh, all together uh, since uh, the others are smaller than the uh, main uh, butterfly wings um, I want to uh, uh, be able to make them like a book uh, but I want to do that so uh, I'll find a way I have this black cardstock and I measured the middle uh, part uh, so that I can cut it with the same size you're going to see now uh, what I mean uh, I'm just marking it and uh, I'll, I'll use this uh, cutting machine to uh, cut it properly um, if I cut it by hand I might uh, you know cut it uh, in a weird uh, shape so I want to be precise but um, you know if your cutting skills are good uh, you can do it by hand too uh, I'm going to glue down uh, these uh, there uh, in the middle so that I can make the holes and uh, use it like a book uh, uh, but I don't like these uh, like uh, edges uh, the sharp edges so I'm just uh, making them round using my uh, scissors uh, and uh, I'm going to just glue it down uh, in the middle so that I can create the holes and uh, use a, a rope or something uh, to bring it together uh, you will understand what I mean uh, very soon uh, I'm just uh, gluing down this part uh, and uh, don't worry maybe it looks ugly now but uh, this will become a, a nice booklet uh, so it's not going to be a problem at all uh, now I'm going to match uh, this uh, uh, cover uh, with the one that I just did so I'm just uh, uh, giving the holes with my uh, hole maker uh, in the same uh, areas so that I can uh, turn this into a uh, into a nice booklet and as you see I'm just uh, putting them on top of each other as, as they would be and uh, I'm just punching again from the holes so after I did all uh, I'm just uh, going to use this uh, natural twine uh, to make uh, to bring them all together and uh, it will turn into my little butterfly booklet you can find other ways to do it uh, I'm sure uh, there will be many creative people finding uh, different ways uh, this is the uh, the way I did uh, at the first time uh, and uh, after I uh, uh, after I brought it together I just cut the excess of the twine and uh, my booklet is ready uh, as you see the rhinestones shine uh, super nicely and if I flick through I'm going to complete the rest of the pages too but I didn't for now and not to make this video eternally long uh, and if you want you can also use the pages that are complementary uh, in different ways as well maybe uh, hang on the wall as a trio or something uh, I just wanted to give you a couple of ideas I hope you enjoyed this video if you did please don't forget to leave me a comment uh, hit the like button or subscribe to my channel i would love to see you over at instagram as well if you want to see sneak peeks or what i am up to thank you so much for watching and see you next time